Well, thanks very much, uh, Larry. I'm live here in Amarillo in the industrial section. And some of this land that you see behind me, downtown Amarillo, Inc., has a vision to transform some of this land that goes right up against the BNSF rail line into what is called a linear park. Now, the question is why? Well, they feel that this area here has the potential to become a green space and attract future development. A narrow strip of land between the Santa Fe Depot and I-40 next to the railroad right-of-way along the BNSF rail line is targeted for a potential long, narrow Greenway Park. We have real estate along that rail line that can be redeveloped. And so, you know, the, the possibility of taking that land that's along the railroad and making it into a green space, a park um, that's walkable, bikeable, and can really enhance the development potential for that warehouse area. Parts of the warehouse district are slowly transforming into what developers call a mixed-use development. Lofts are currently under construction near the potential site of that park. And a lot of the things we look at and dream about get down to sort of the chicken or the egg, you know. Do, do, do you have to do the park first to make it attractive to developers or do you get a developer there and then go to work on the park? I think the two would kind of work hand in hand. Downtown Amarillo Inc. tells ABC7 News linear parks can have a profound impact on a city's economy with a new green space park playing a role in helping to transform unused land into future development. And it's really just the beginning of the potential for those buildings. We have a lot of uh, vacant and underutilized warehouse buildings along this area. Now in the event that this vision that Downtown Amarillo Inc. has is able to come to fruition, construction could begin on a park sometime within the next year or two at the location you see behind me. Reporting from Amarillo, I'm Drew Powell, ABC7 News. All right. Thank